Okay, so right here we have the multiple images we can select from. And I kind of gone before and look on the pauses. This is kind of look very nice, but again, the lag one is going down another band a little bit too much. I think these ones work a little bit better. We have a two um, legs. And by the way, if you're interested, that is uh, how we shot this. It is kind of crushed gray background. that's help us to compose a little bit later. We have a small jumping trampoline below. And this is polyfill that fill up, um, kind of create clouds. So rest, we can easier to cut off and putting kind of fog around to create look somewhat like a clouds or something around there. We also use it one um, deep box, deep soft um, octa box that is produced kind of lighting straight from down. And you have it obviously haze. It's from the fog machine that we kind of fill up, create a little bit more volume look inside. So this is kind of preset. Um, next, it was shot on a Canon um, EOS R5 and it was using 24-105 lens and you can see right here it's 29 millimeters so 35 about will be better but this is far on the center so it does not give it that much distortions with a wide angle lens. So we go ahead and let's click on this image to open. Um, because it was shot as a raw format it will open first in camera raw for us and in camera raw before we begin i just want to click on the bottom to open our preference for camera raw and you can see right here we're working in a color space adobe rgb this is same color space i used on my camera and through all my workflow i would recommend for you it doesn't matter which color space you use it but it is very helpful if you stay in the same color space to all your processing. In this case, you will have a result that is not varied from one step to another. Also, you notice I'm working with 16-bit channel. Some filters in Photoshop does not work with 16-bit. We can kind of overcome this if we all use different things. But 16-bit will give it us better gradient without or fringing and give it all those ugly lines. Okay, so next what we want to do is take our highlights and take highlights down. Usually I'm taking down as I can see on white materials. We don't have a little bit over um, exposure. So it's give it us good details there. Next we're going down and we don't need to actually add shadows. We're already okay here. So we'll just keep them to zero. We want to add a little bit sharpness, restore sharpness that originally kind of lost inside Adobe, um, inside the camera. For example, Canon R5 have it uh, anti-aliasing filter over the sensor, so it kind of smoothing, uh, soften a little bit edges, and this has helped me restore this. Um, you can change the sharpness based on what camera you're using. Next, we go to color mixer, and we look here on the luminosity tab. Let's take oranges and bring back. What does actually oranges help us? We, with the highlights down, we kind of recover some of this overexposure on a white material, but we also flatten the hair skin because highlights and shadows so that give it a shape. So right here by increasing luminosity on the orange channel, which represents to the skin taller, then it's help us to, so by taking this orange, we can actually, and you can see we can bring a little bit more highlights. You can also work a little bit with the yellow channel. Sometimes it will work in this case. It's mostly orange and red. You can preview it. So we'll create a little bit of highlights. We don't need to give it too much, but just a little bit to restore. Okay, when we're done with this, let's go ahead, open inside the Photoshop. And I'm just clicking open as normal channel. You can try open maybe as a smart object or other things, but because we're going to, to our work process, we're going to do a lot of uh, layering additional so I don't see reason to have it as smart object because we go to modify this anyway right here first where we're going it is isolate and kind of recover our image to prepare for the processing first uh, you can see right here we have it obviously elements we need to remove it remove around here so we'll go ahead and take background drag and creating another copy of this and we want to replace this area so one thing notice when we if we're using the tool like patch tool, what's happening in many cases, let me show you just example, we go right there. 
you can see the lights were leaking or other things. So what I found out it's actually work better for me. It just take a simple brush, select, okay, let's go ahead and select soft round color for this. Okay, let's uh, minimize. Okay. And we'll just simple this color of the background. Let's go at like 60% and I'm just going paint. Let's go with 100% so it will be faster. You'll notice you can use clones to uh, tool but I've kind of figure out with uh, this tool it does not really um, clone tool does not necessarily work very well you need to sample everything but right here I'm just creating kind of creating kind of lights a little bit don't worry about too much again we'll just to um, our coloring okay like right there a little bit right here somewhat similar colors and again you use alt key or option keys select sampling color and going this way we can go right here also notice we have it a red color so let's remove some of this sampling around and we'll just painting over a little bit it's all not too much this is will help us to use our other tool um, now we can easy going to select the um, patch tool in this case and now with patch tool we can select some areas drag and but then you can see the coloring will go um, way better so we can actually take this element and patching around the restoring background so this is step number one okay let's go put them around here don't worry we're losing a little bit clouds here because we're going to um, create some other fog adding and we have it stand without a little bit same we don't need this white so we can actually just go grab it and kind of there you go and we was using white material also just to cover uh, some coloring so I think this is about right we may rework some of cut off this one later make it squirrely we'll see how we will work with this but on this case we'll still you go around here and overall what it does it's look on luminous one use this tool it was look on luminosity and coloring and of course we will overlay this later with our clouds with the atmosphere clouds so it should be work very well but the preparing it's um, help us with extend canvas and reasons why we want extend canvas uh, it's for the wings because I want to create angel an angel will have the wings on the back here and it's definitely one fitted and I want to see full size of the wings actually and notice what's happening right here where we have it light it's actually start kind of matching beautifully with this color so that's what we wanted okay right here there you go okay and let's go just grab this area okay and we can see on the background we kind of restore this background um, don't worry too much about this bottom because I will put clouds here next let's go to add um, and I was thinking to create wings kind of going down so for this we need to expand canvas and I'm select like canvas be sure it says content aware enable and we'll just move it we will move it a little bit don't move too much because it will increase we'll do in the steps because if we do all at the same time what will happen um, it will pick up some of the material right now I don't want it I want Photoshop just pick up backgrounds and clouds maybe and extend this way and it actually should work very well in this case you can see we expand it a little bit if you see a little bit white let's go grab it and fix this one make it a little bit darker so we, again we can grab this area go like around here maybe even just place it right there okay Okay, let's go next again expand it like right there 
I'm just looking, I may just gone a little bit more again because we better to shrink after, then come back when we put wings in and we'll say, oh, it's not long enough. Let's again extend it one more time. So we'll just extend it a little bit longer, like around here, I think. Uh, that should give it us plenty of the space um, to put it on the wings working with that. Okay. So it is extending and we're going to that is about right right here i'm a little bit don't like how this working so let's fix a little bit this area even we over overlay later but i still want just go grab it like right here and we'll go create a little bit more clouds so just remove this repetition okay right there I'll grab this area and just put it something else. Okay, we can grab this, place a little bit down right there. Okay, I think this is about nicer clouds. We still have it right here, maybe. And yeah, let's do this way. Let's go grab it from this area and we'll just add like right there a little bit more clouds okay so far if you remember this was before and after so this is our modifications um a little bit darker in this area i want to add for this if you remember we want actually make it darker but i will take um stamping tool we'll go a sample stamping tool 30 percent and i'm just going to add with a stamping tool just slightly uh, reason is what I'm doing. I want to make it darker. Okay. I don't want to make too bright I want to make a little bit dark in this area Because how the lights and shadow will go. I know This will go with a soft light. I will make darker and if we don't do right now Later we'll need to actually add more to this and I don't And I want to avoid that. So right here. There you go Okay, that will work <clears throat> Okay, let's go ahead and next we want to grab our wings and place it. So the question will come up about uh, where do I get these wings if you want to do your compositing. And what's happening, I render a lot of different wings and create packs and they're like on uh, geekatplay.gumroad.com or Chopin, C-H-O-P-I-N-E dot art will do the same things. And you can see right here, actually, I have it um, engine wing, and it's have it light and dark version, so you can have it. And these wings, um, I'm adding more and more to this collection, actually. What's happening, um, as I'm working alone, I create this, uh, um, render these wings. The hardest part is actually set proper lighting, and it takes a long time, tell you true, sometimes to render. So, and this is um, it's what I'm trying to create this library for me for wings. And I'm was start sharing because people was asking about the swings where I get it them. And if you interested, I put it link below. You can look on them. You also I have the videos how to you actually can render the swings by yourself. So, you, if you want to create some more custom, you can render or. You can just get something that I pre-made and tell it true. It, it's take a long time to render this because you need to stop lighting, uh, adjusting materials, do a lot of stuff for this. Um, if you want to them look correct. So I think this is look fine. We'll put it wings about this area and normal. What I'm doing here, let's look on a compositing that may help you. Okay. Let's go take red. Uh, this color will work fine. We'll go. If we take a line, and we'll just go like, for example, lights will go, okay, control Z, let's go from here to here, like lights coming from this arrays, okay. And I want to create, um, run away from me, okay, go back, okay, like right here. And I want to create the wings kind of follow this light ray. So what is meaning, uh, let's go control adjustment T and I may just adjust this line so it's following Kind of give it us nice uh, layout kind of distribution going with parallels from single points so um if they imagine this light 
point and the rays coming from light and I want to align this line that going with the lights look like her feet kind of aligned, the wings kind of aligned, so it's kind of going working well together as a compositing. So it is, um, don't just take wings or something, just place it, be sure you're kind of using a little bit of this um, compositing compositions what you created. Okay, um, that is wings. We can go and kind of place them here. I think that will work. Um, now I think we can work on a model itself. And like I said before, right here we have a little bit cloth and I'm not sure if I like it or I want them kind of extend going to zero. So I'm not sure what I want right here or maybe we can create. I can see both way. One, it's kind of give me nice perspective tied to the ground. So almost like it's a chains or something tied up. Maybe we can play on this one. And it's again, it's a creative work. You work on this, you see how it will work for you or not. So let's go start with retouching. Okay, right here we have it, our first retouching. And I'm going to take healing brush. First, what I'm going to remove like this one, this just stick out. So it's simple above. And we'll just going to erase this. Okay, we're sampling. Okay, again, go sampling a little bit more. Sometimes on the edge, a little bit harder. So we'll go just select right here between realign edge and just go like this. Since so we'll fix this one, we'll go right here next and we'll do same here. And let's just do one more time. Go right there and run here and here. So there you go. Okay, let's go zoom out. There you go. We fix a little bit. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have a bunch of stuff actually to fix. For this one, I'm actually going from switch to spot healing, and spot healing will sample area around. The healing brush tool will require you to specify areas. So for some things like these wrinkles, the just normal healing brush will work great so we don't need to worry about a lot of stuff and this is what i'm doing i'm just removing some of those um straight lines that kind of i think breaking down for us feelings like right here see this is line it's ugly so let's go ahead we'll select remove this there's folding lines this is what kind of was messing up Ooh. See what's happening if we go right there, we'll go a little bit smaller brush and that's what happened when you're not sampling. So let's try to sample and sometimes we'll pick up in weird areas. So we'll get go this way, okay, a little bit right here. The chaps will still have it a little bit. We still want to have it some wrinkles on because it will give it shape. We don't want the straight wrinkles that is like right here representing kind of folding so we can go right remove this one and just remove this long one okay same this is actually fine okay, maybe a little bit right here need clean up um i don't want also affect the global wrinkles you can see kind of because they give it shape so we want to keep it this one remove just in tiny um the easiest techniques actually we should maybe work on that one but i don't want to include in this video it is using um frequency separation so in this case we can separate texture of material and a bigger wrinkles and kind of work this way however i don't think we actually need to do that techniques here because it does have it but it's not as much Okay, well, right here we have it a little bit. Okay, the straight lines, yep, we need to remove them. All of this will help us. Okay, let's go look now on a skin. We'll go, okay, look fine. Okay, that hand look good. Okay, that one look fine. Okay, I think overall it's look great. I like the hairs, we'll leave it like this. Okay. 
So that one has looked nice. Let's go now work on the add a little bit more painting kind of effect. And painting is what it is, redu reducing some of the noise of the skin, make more painfulness, uh, painting in this case. <laughs> okay, it's Control Shift Alt Command Optional E. We're going to create new layer and let's go call this smoothing. Okay. So on this layer, smoothing, we go to filter. And let's go filter, noise, and we're going dust and scratches. And dust and scratches, just let's go select. This is too high value. Definitely when you go down, maybe like 15, even more, select mouth. I want to see a little bit more shape, but I don't. There you go. This is a little bit better. And this radius is, will change depending on the resolution of your image. If you have very large details, you maybe want a bigger radius, but with this small, we want actually less. Okay, 10, let's go click OK. Um, next, we'll create it, and we don't want to apply this effect every, everywhere. We want to control it. For this, we call press Alt or um, Command on the Mac and press on a mask. So it will create a black mask. It's meaning everything invisible. And now we'll take a brush, switch brush to white color, soft brush, 10% opacity, very, very soft. Okay. And we can go right here and start. Adding. So you can see, um, one thing what I, with this tool, avoid eyes, avoid hair. Just this is purely for the smoothing on a skin. Remove some of this noise on a skin you can also use that same effect if you want to reduce some of digital noise of the image in a shadow areas but just i'll let you know it is um kind of going this way okay right here let's go to smooth a little bit we don't need smooth too much actually So then also um, we can smooth some other like in here clothes right there a little bit. That will remove teeny tiny wrinkles and it help create a um, little bit more smooth like almost brush strokes and we're going to do that. Okay, let's go paint a little bit more around here, just move this, okay, there you go, let's go next, I want to create painting kind of effect on her hair, control shift alt e, command option alt e again to create new layer, let's go call it hair, and for the hair we are actually going to filter, stylize, and we'll use the oil paint, as oil painting, we're going to use um, 10 stylization, 10 cleanliness, scale 0, 1, and brussel. Uh, let's pop up a little bit higher because we have um, smaller hair. Click OK. Also, it's may become too smooth. For this, I want to emphasize some of the luminosity levels, increase contrast. And we'll do this by sharpening on sharp mask apply. And you can see right here, we'll pop up a little bit higher. And that will create a little bit nicer mask. Okay, let's come closer. You can see a little bit too much. So let's go ahead. Alt or Option on the Mac. Click or create a mask. And now we can brush it in with 10% soft brush. We can brush in a little bit more just only on a hair. We'll do similar later on the wings. But right here, just create these brush strokes. Okay, there you go. I think that's look nice. We can also just go and um, experiment if you want to do like on the bottom, look right here. We can apply a little bit of the brush strokes. And this is actually techniques will hide very well if you have it a wig on edge of the wigs. If you have it fur, will work very good on a fur. But in this case, I just want to click on the edges, just create kind of like almost painting effect. Uh, clouds. Let's see what we have with clouds edge. It could help a little bit on the clouds on the edges mostly, but again, 
we don't worry about this because what we're we going it's add another one okay uh, let's go ahead and next we want to um, add dodge and burn just add a little bit more depth and shape to this so we'll go ahead create new layer uh, let's go call dodge and burn and we're going to fill up this layer with 50 percent gray normal mode opacity 100 so you can see just like gray gray layer next we'll go switch to the soft light and then now we can go and use a brush black and white 10 percent opacity we can actually put it shadows or highlights and i just want to increase overall have this little bit more effect drama dramatic and we can do this with the shadows i remember that highlights it's what give it us and the shadows it's give it a shape actually so right here by doing we can add some of those Like right here let's go a little bit shadows a little bit more in the hair also on her clothing we can add a little bit more emphasize on some areas so let's go like you can see right here shadow going so we'll just can keep add a few more strokes to create darker look uh, at this moment i'm not looking to create any global lighting okay i'm just working to emphasize some of the shapes of the figure like for example hands so let's add a little bit more right here okay switch x will switch between background foreground colors and my colors is black and white so it's meaning for me it will be highlights and shadows is what i'm going to do okay we'll go like right there zoom out and you can see we just add a little bit more shadows to this will add a little bit later way more as we're going to work with the global lighting probably but right now this is just help us to create this shape to add here and we'll just add a little bit a little bit too dark right there too bright there you go There you go, kind of, I think it's coming along. Okay, you may need to come back after. Add a little bit more. Okay, so let's go check right now. This is before and after. You can see we just add a little bit more depth, not too much. And we don't want to have it very dramatic changes. We just want kind of small nicer adds to this okay so let's go ahead and um we can add a couple things we can add sky and probably we should do this let's go ahead first put it sky and we will do work with the sky as overlay type so what is meaning we'll put it sky over and we'll use it after brush tool to bring it back on our masking okay so i'm just going to use um probably this sky overlay it's from a collection um i have it also in my own collection and same you can download it if you need it if you want it so right here what i'm going to do actually switch a little bit the because lighting uh, coming from this side so this is what i want to do i want to actually take the sky and we're going to stretch just like this to create coming a little bit more from this area like from light okay. you, can, you know just even stretch a little bit more this way and let's position like right there i think the lights kind of better coming from this direction and now i'm just needed increase be sure so we cover most of that there you go i think this is will work very well okay let's go press enter and this is our sky overlay i'm not putting with um, clouds we can overlay later this is just behind our model hold down alt or option and click on a mask okay and we'll go take our brush and one thing before brushing what i want to do is going and set about 50 percent gray we can do this by 
enable HSB on the brightness. So we know it's a good scale. And in this case, if I have it 100% enable brush, if I brushing in, you can see this is, will be only brushing 50% and I cannot overdo. So this is helpful because we still have some texture from background coming. And we can later decide if we want to keep it normal mode, screen or going with soft light. I think soft light actually already look nice. Overlay give it us a little bit more saturation. I think soft light will work a little bit better in this case. And we'll just go like this. Okay, so we'll go right there, around there. Um, let's switch back. We'll go back to soft light later. Right now I want to be in a normal warm mode so I can preview um, how it's a little bit closer. That will help me. And this way also we can go just a little bit closer. And also, remember it says it's more like painting almost tool now. Don't worry about go closer right here. If you have it harder time, switch to 10% and we can just start like with 10% painting in. Nice things about this, we have a color spill on the, our because it's kind of blending. So we had a beautiful and that is will give it us more realistic looking edge. It's what we're going after. So right there we can almost touch on our faces and we have this glowing of the same color will be on the edge. So it's nice, nice blending happening this time. Okay, we'll go like right there a little bit more on the face. And because the lights will go from this direction, we'll probably need it even add a little bit more afterwards going um, around here but okay and it's still a little bit processing <clears throat> so we we'll go right there let's readjust a little bit okay and go right around here you know maybe let's go with 20 percent so we'll give it us a little bit faster and usually i do this by the edges after we can go bigger brush and going but this will help us kind of blend feel more as a um, artist with a brush so what are you doing and I have it very soft because I'm using actually the um, mouse so if you have a by compared you can pressure sensitive so you can adjust and usually when I do this you can see I'm switching like to 30 percent DPL depend how closer I am so we can do right there and even if it's go look a little bit rougher right now, it will work very beautifully when we switch to soft light. And right there. The other things you can also try to select, like select subject or other mask. I find it's not necessarily work in cases when I need to kind of mask out, I'll probably will use it brush, uh, use a pen tool for me. So the pen tool will help me a little bit better with oscillations, but in this case, there you go. We are just going to the edge a little bit better. Right here. Okay, we also have inside here we needed to kind of add. And let's go a little bit closer. And of course in the clouds it's okay if you <laughs> will go over clouds a little bit it's what we want actually eventually go over clouds um here we'll add more shadowing later okay right there a little bit let's go with 40 percent now and to switch what percent you're using on your opacity you just press on the top or keys anywhere from one to zero and it will switch different opacity for you which actually very fast and useful and if you work like with a photoshop it's very very useful to know those combinations because between one hand on a pad or um, one hand with a mouse and you do other stuff so it's kind of very helpful just very fast jumping and switching between those selections
Okay, let's go zoom out. Let's take a little bit time on this, but again, this is important to create properly right here. Okay, we'll also go right below. And you know, I'm, as I'm doing, I'm seeing those things going down kind of right here. Let's go to fix something right there a little bit more by the hand again. And I think we'll need to do twice by hand and it's okay. We'll do right now by lights and the next one will add wings. We actually will need it kind of go and mask by the wings, but we can copy that mask if we need it. Right now I'm just adding that's not very hard to do this way. Okay, bit down. We may come back after, touch up a little bit more on this. Okay, right here. There you go, you can see how it's coming up. Is a hair going and um, as I said right here hair we may need rework after we'll see how it's coming up because when we're putting wings behind wings will cover some of those areas and I want to be sure they kind of working very well together And you see the color spill is just beautifully integrated together. And now we'll have it 80%. We'll just go. Okay, right there. Lights behind. There you go. I think. Oh, we have it right there, I forgot, between. So let's go inside. And we'll go with 20%. Um, this one area definitely will be wings cover. But we want wings also have it semi-translucity. So by doing this, we will create some of this coloring coming through. And it will create translucity like effect on the feather. So we, it's the reason why we want to have it clouds or sky behind because it will help us to create that somewhat translucency alike effect and translucency it's when light coming through the material um, and kind of spread inside so go with one soft because I want to cast a little bit this on a material around so remember it's what I said it's translucency so we want kind of a little bit casting some transparency almost going like right there start working together okay and one thing what I'm looking at these these lines going you know and I do have it some collection I did before of these weird hands. I forgot what project I was doing for. Now almost thinks, you know, what about if we just creating kind of like these hands from here? I'm not sure if I want going to do this, but we could actually create some ugly hands coming and try to pull our angel down. An example we can do like right there creating a mask on this okay and we can take brush and just mask something out like let's go zero take this finger away and kind of from clouds almost coming and let's just experiment so we could do this way um again the little bit higher contrast we need match contrast and do other stuff but that way i have it because i got a bunch of a lot of these zombie hands or whatever 
but we can do kind of like almost try to catch and keep her down right there we can do on this one yeah, let's go um, I maybe do this just leave it there we need match definitely colors we need to do some other elements but I think that one may work actually kind of give you int different interesting story okay right there yeah we'll need definitely add some to this okay let's see other hands kind of like right there maybe try to grip right around there and this should go build behind yeah, I will need to add shadows and other stuff, but overall you can kind of see how the hand's holding. And I think maybe just one more hand, like this one. And you know what? Um, I'll put it this hands as well for free download if you need it. So you can use it if you decide to go repeat with this. Okay, we definitely have some lighting issues right here we'll need it add in a second but I think that way they work together so let's do take all of them okay we'll group them so it's easier will be to work this way now we can create a mask take our brush come closer and brush out let's go like 40 percent maybe So we'll just brush them in and we'll add later kind of fog on them. 10% here, 100%. So kind of creating like almost. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, let's do this way. There you go. Just hands right here. Okay, there's a hand. Let's go to create new curve and we'll connect this curve to our hands switch to luminosity this way we can control brightness and contrast so we can make them a little bit more less saturated and kind of like this way there you go a little bit better on the shadowing um, next, we want to be sure the color kind of matching with this, and we'll set this luminosity. Okay, we'll go create new curve. This time, it will be our color. Okay, again, we'll clipping to our hands, and we'll just match a little bit because it is in a little bit yellowish. So we'll go match slightly the background color. Right there, I think it was a little bit more in the bluish, maybe going now, yeah, a little bit right here. Okay, let's go look on a greenish, just right there. Okay, there you go, they look a little bit better. Let's go create new layer, and this one will be 50% gray, so it will be our dodge and burn for the hands. And because Dodge and Burn will switch to Soft Light, have it our black brush selected. Okay, we'll do it stock 10%. And what we're going to just to create shadows so they're kind of matching. You can do again black and highlights. I'll just do like highlights a little bit on this area and darken a little bit more. And then other things, I just don't like the edges. Um, how they're going. So right there. And I notice sometimes you have a two bright highlights. So to fix this, we need to actually use multiply mode for those ones. On that, we can create new layer. Multiply mode. Okay, go again, connect. 
clipping switch to multiply and now i can select the color and just apply multiply mode slightly okay so we get uh, let's go right here we have it our black or multiply with same color and we'll just uh, kind of remove some of these highlights in the wrong places right there so just create a little bit of look darker okay um this i'm not sure if the because the clouds still be white they kind of come up we can try to take them and make them a little bit more semi-translucent kind of i think that will work a little bit better so not all the way visible and also i noticed they are too sharp so let's make them a little bit more cloudy look for this i'm just going to control let's select um, go down okay we can control or command click on one so you can you select one hand and then you can go to select modify contract let's contract by three pixels okay and we go select modify feather and we can feather by two pixels okay and next when we're done with this hand i think it's this one yep we'll just go hold down alt and click on a mask so you can see what's happening we're creating this nice fuzzy element so command control i to inverse and what it does is create this soft until you can see how edge hard and then this is we'll have a soft edge so we'll do same things hand nine so we'll click select select modify contract three it should be remember our values select modify feathering two and just click on the mask and you can see it's soft out so let's go ahead next same things contract by three select modify feather okay, two create mask on this one next select modify contract um you could actually if you do this all the time you could create your macro or other element but i don't think I'm making um, that often so for me just repeating will be fine right here we already have already some mask it's okay we'll just override that mask here and we can just go destroy this mask okay remember we have this mask above we'll go to do this and we'll go select modify contract by three select modify feather two Okay, create mask here and we'll go in a mask above take a brush black brush and we'll go to hide this one if you remember it's what we've done we just create a little bit softer nice hands a little bit less popping up i'm not actually sure if i like this way or maybe even you know let's create black and white i just want to be sure clip the black and white to our hands and I just want to be sure the black and white actually reduce saturation maybe on our hands, make them kind of like these. Yeah, I think that way. And yeah, let's pull back. Just slightly something they're holding. And we'll add fog. So you we don't want to pay too much attention to them, but we want this kind of almost something there weird going on. Okay. We took all of this. Let's go to take these hands group them together and we'll just call it hands okay next we have our wings so let's go work on them for now for wings i'm going to hold down alt or option click on the mask and it's hide the wings for me and i'm going to paint in we're going just zero so it's mean 10 100 uh, percent on a white color we're gonna start painting those wings in okay and we'll go zoom a little bit out there you go so what i said before you can see we're touching the nice things what we've done before actually right here with hair i made it work a little bit better but now as we look 40 percent You can always say X 
to go back to black. But notice what's happening. Because we did sky before, it's actually nicely almost shadowing perfectly. So in this case, if like right here close, we can, and we have this shadow of the um, sky going, which is work very well in our case. And that's what I said before, with hands we'll need it to do a little bit more. Let's go 70% here. Maybe 70 too much. Let's go on 60. And we'll just go a little bit. Don't worry about them not matching. We'll rework a little bit more on our wings in a second. Right now, we just need to create it. Look right there. And that's the reason why sometimes I do like just create a mask around. We could create very fast mask, pen mask around the, our model. Then we'll have a much easier way to work like around these areas because you can see we want almost like a work on this. Okay, right there. And the problem is with this, remember, because we have also below, okay, we have it like right this area, we also have a little bit of the sky coming through. Okay, back to our wings. And we'll just uh, remove it. Okay. Um, little bit yellowish follow up and remember we have it with our clouds let's go on a black and we can take this and kind of almost restore back you can see just paint over so this way we'll have it on the clouds and less coloring um also let's go back to her hair above because there we have it some um stuff to fix as well it's so like right here i'm going to select black and i'm just going to slightly painting and in here her hair back just a little bit creating it's a little bit darker and we have some options okay there you go so remember, our sky, it still be in a normal mode. So if we switch to the soft light, you can see how now it's way better blend in. And I'm not sure, I think we actually have a little bit wings right here as well. So let's go get closer. X. Yep, we have wings there. So let's go at that 40%. I'm just painting slightly here. Maybe go to 30%. And I'm just painting to see where the wings end. Okay, yeah, they end up here. So we can actually go 10%. 10% help us to add these edges. Switch to black, 60%. And we're just going to paint off slightly in this area. But I want to keep it this translucency somewhat. So because when you look at material, you kind of almost see the going through them. So this way... There you go. Okay. Okay, so you can see we are adjusting, of course, the wings, they're not necessarily matching. So to for the wings to match, we need to actually take opacity and let's take opacity down, just preview. You can see we can actually already can have a very beautiful adjustment. So we were going about 80%. And I want to add additional mask to those wings. So on the same layer, when we have this, we have a brush. Let's go select this soft round brush, 10% opacity, increase. And mostly right here on ends, I want to make them even more transparent. And like these wings on the back a little bit more, so they, you can see kind of sky through them. 
maybe a little bit on the edges. So we want to go this in a darker. There you go. Okay. Right there. Okay, we can also a little bit cast shadows maybe behind her. And we can do this kind of with the same transparency applying. So let go darker. And nice things about this, we can we will do dodge and burn as well, but with this case, we just transparency applied to the darker sky. So it's almost like dark in there. Now let's go create new layer. We'll fill up this 50% gray, connect to our wings, and it will be our dodge and burn just for the wings. We'll switch to soft light and let's go to um, black 10% just create shadows a little bit and we'll just add and this is will work just only on the our wings so we can create right here we can also just add a little bit more darker around here but lights going closer this way and let's add highlights on the edges so as a light you know coming down this way right here you can see it just add a little bit to this okay let's go darker again we'll add a little bit more shadowing Around there, let's go create new layer and we'll have this multiply. So we'll need stronger shadows for this. Okay, we'll go to connect again, clipping to our wings. And we'll go to select some color around there because what we want for multiply, we want. And we'll go just to create like shadows. If you think from the person right there, how they're casting. So just casting like shadows around that area where is the hair going there you go okay um i also think we need add more shadows on person itself so let's go to where we have dodge and burn for the person let's create new layer same we'll have it multiply mode for this and just right here let's add a little bit more multiply we also if we get closer we also what we're missing here it's a shadows so we can add a little bit more shadows for the hands so like you know so now we know the hands is grabbing and the shadows will help us a lot with this okay so like right there Oh, a little bit too strong maybe okay there you go okay let's go here as well we'll just add shadows under okay between fingers there you go so it will create a little bit better effect i think on a gripping hand Okay, let's go overall, make bigger. Just general, add a little bit shadows to our person, to legs, and so on. We can also even add a little bit darken just below here. The one thing nice about multiply, it's have color mode, but technically you can actually go to all the way to the black color, which is actually nice what we want in some cases. Okay, I think this is kind of almost ready to make global lighting now. And global lighting will going to go on top, create new layer. It's global dodge and burn. We'll fill up with a 50% gray, switch to the soft light. And now we can have it our black color. 
which is will create shadows we can create like almost see the global shadows look darker just go behind a person okay and we can create brighter lights coming from here we'll just create like this just rays kind of almost going Okay, there you go. Just draw the lines, draw those gray lines we're going to do. Okay, we can add a little bit some elements right there, a little bit more globally, but overall will just help us we can create darker right there. So these hiding okay so this is one we'll probably do another one pass but i think right now we need to add clouds so let's go ahead we'll just go say clouds there and for this we're going to use brushes and i'm using ron's brushes they're available for you on the um from a das 3d you can download them purchase they're not free but i found they work actually very well if you want to create your own brushes, I have videos how to do that. And um, or you can find online. It's plenty of the brushes online available for free. So let's go ahead right here. We'll select and I want to use it actually fog, runs fog right here, those set of brushes. We'll just select one and you can see um, it's kind of nice. The one thing what I recommend, you just alt select color and use it. So let's go ahead, press 100%. So you can see how they're going right there and we can fix this very easy so what i'm doing i'm just clicking on the colors around because we don't want necessarily want to have the same color okay we want to have it always different colors but this way just help us to create and mostly <laughs> hide some of this let's go create a way larger size just overall this is will help us to overcome we want to have it brighter right there and you can see just help us kind of uh, maybe too bright right there let's go darker color there you go that's a little bit better okay we also can create let's go with yellow yep there you go just adjust a little bit colors on the wings as well okay let's go brighter and I'm just sampling, looking on different colors because some of them work better. Um, you can also go reduce size of brushes. And I'm just looking, okay, there you go. You can see what's going on. I'm just trying to create all this different type of um, color brush. And this help us kind of bring together all of this. kind of creating let's go select different brush okay and I'm going just to try different ones see yeah there you go this one maybe yeah it's maybe work a little bit better by hands we kind of almost need climbing to create with this coloring okay right there just add a little bit more details Okay, let's go to create more dark in this area. For this one, same, we'll create brush and also, yeah, I'll just add a little bit more dark elements around here. Okay, let's take brighter color, different. The mix one color is what make kind of, I find look very interesting when you do this way. Set brighter a little bit kind of create this messy almost look clouds okay um so we did clouds you know we kind of create i think we need to make a little bit better look on the wings so for this let's go control shift rt command optional e on a mac create new layer 
and we're going to now to filter stylize we already done this before and do with oil painting and we'll use the same things like we did for the hair so we'll do okay and we're going to filter sharpen unsharp mask okay, right there go click okay and let's hide alt or option go to brushes back our black brush but except what we're going to just don't have wings because wings is look very artificial sometimes so what we're going to do select to 40 percent we'll just go over wings this is will make them look a little bit more paint and mostly help us with the edges on them you can see how they now become a little bit way look more paint painting it's what we kind of try to do with this and it's also help kind of create these nice swirly things on the end of the wings almost like they belong and reduce some of this repetition and the patterns that i see it okay, right there you can also if you want you can try on a sky sometimes it may work kind of interesting sometimes maybe it doesn't so you can try to add and see what will go okay i'm just adding a little bit more texturing to this um next actually i want to add a little bit more noise so we're going um dust and this is oil just naming it's uh, your layer is kind of helpful to after to see what is actually happened and uh, sometimes when you're lazy or you don't do this i regret when i don't do this so it's reason why i take a little bit of time and put it names on this so now what i want to do it is going back to our brushes and i want to use the actually powder right here same from ron's powder and this is will create kind of nice noise right there you can see let's go here and you can see it's kind of create this interesting noise it's what i want to do so i'm going to select and we're going to add a little bit noise but i want to kind of a similar color almost almost like a particles kind of spreading this way it's help us And we'll switch this to the soft light so just help a little bit creating this more um greengy look almost and of course we don't necessarily need to keep it all this 100 percent we'll just reduce slightly but it is help us to go take it lay it down there you go but it's create this digital noise almost look and speak about digital noise because we did all the smoothing and some other stuff we lost some of this we want to restore it we'll do this in a second i want to actually to do more global dodge and burn and don't try to put everything in one layer what i find out it is you need to go back and fix it and it's much harder to do if you have it just in single layer so it's much um, nicer just create multiple layers like even in dodge and burn and from that point you can create more um, control over so right here leave it too dark okay we'll go again create lights coming from that area and just maybe add right there and hide a little bit more in the corner there you go i think this is look okay um next we want to do it's add noise level layers so I'll go and the noise is gives us uniformity of the grain through all image because some of this have it lower noise some have it more noise so this way we um uh, can achieve uniformity in this and we're going to filter noise add noise let's go 10 percent for this should work fine soft light Okay, if we look closer, we should have it. Yeah, we have a very uniform noise through all our image. Maybe it's too much. We always can use our slider, take down maybe to about 60%. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, now we 
kind of need work on a coloring. This is have one impact, but it's not necessarily have this uh, kind of wow impact. So we want to create some colors. For this control shift, I'll take a mod option Alt E. We can do this also with um, curves, which we'll do a little bit later, but also I do like to use it filter forge. It is other application. I think it's got 30 days free trial, but if you create your own filters, you actually can get this application for free. And I heard a lot of videos how to do this. But what I do, I create this phototone filters for myself. It just helped me very fast. You can see create um, coloring. And you know what? I think maybe I just don't like how it is cut. I maybe needed to framing. I think I, I need cut right here a little bit closer. I think the framing a little bit off. Okay, we'll do this in a second. Right now I'm just looking on the colors. And when I said I can just readjust maybe slightly bring here, give it a little bit more in warmer tones, colder warm, kind of like right here maybe. Okay, we'll pop up. Let's go click apply. And yeah, let's right here to bright. We need a shadow add more in the dark in this area. It's too flat right now, I think, going on. And that's what happened. I'm going back and forth, look on the shadows, look on the lighting, which is look right or wrong. So it's how we're fixing a little bit with this. Okay. Uh, let's see. It is take a little bit of time for Filter Forge to process. There you go. We add a nice coloring. I'll just reduce slightly. Okay, we'll go create new layer. And another dungeon burn. So how I say it's I create a bunch of them all the time. So we'll go to soft light. We'll take our brush. And if you notice right here, I think it's too bright. So I want to actually darken. right right there and darken a little bit more down a little bit darker we have feet and of course under feet a little bit on the wings okay so what i was saying i think it is better look if we kind of cut like up to here So I think it's right there will representing a little bit better. Okay, and we can okay, let's go click enter. So it will crop. I'm not deleting crop pixels um, yet as I'm working in the end it will be when we save it, but currently as we're working one keep it. And I think that is working a little bit better. Okay, actually, you know what? Let me see one thing. Bring this just slightly closer. Yeah, maybe around right here. Okay, let's go try. And we're just kind of keeping more of balance. It was a hand, head, and another hand like it. So we're kind of positioning them in a more balanced way. You have your own choice. You can play around, see how it's work one way or another, which you prefer better. But I think that way we have Fox a little bit better going right on this model. Okay, let's go again. We'll just because we remove a little bit point, I want to create from point like right there. Okay, just add a little bit more light strikes going a little bit on a hand. Now we can add shadows as well, so we don't need to lose some of the shadows. A little bit darken hair right there. Maybe you know just a little bit from the hand because her hand is covering, so we want to add shadows from the hand going down. Okay, bright right there. Okay, so we did 
create some of this. Now I think we want to add, um, there you go. Okay, right here, just create a little bit more lights going down to the wings. Okay, so we have our lines. Uh, let's go next, add a little bit more color correction to this, and we'll do this with selective colors. And selective colors will start work with a black. We have the option right there, you can see we don't need it crush black, so I will put it like minus three. Uh, we can put it in a blue, it's what we're going minus the blue, add a little bit greenish, and we can have the warm or cyan, it depends how we're going. Let's try go to cyan on a black. And a neutral opposite will go to a little bit warmer and a red. So this way we have this nice, beautiful combination between um, cold and warm colors. And we can just a little bit maybe take down here. Let's go look on the whites. This is our whites. And we can actually bring whites here. Let's go create even kind of warmer look on the white. Okay. Um, Let's look through all colors. This is our reds, and I think we can bring reds a little bit darker and magnifying them. And then bring more reds saturations overall will add those clouds pop, pop up a little bit better for us. Yeah, right there, I think. Okay, let's go red. Now yellow. This is our yellow color, and we can actually bring brighter. I'm looking, yeah, probably warmer. It's kind of nice. You can play with colors and you can see instant happening. So a little bit greenish, actually. There you go. Let's go look on cyan color if we have it. Nope, it's like no cyan colors here. We're going to blue. We have a little bit blue, but usually most of it's will reside in black. So we have to almost do tone on this. Okay, maybe, you know, just a little bit more. around there and I'm not sure I maybe like sometimes to go in a red all the way this way we have total warm colors even in black it's kind of almost do tone feel it this way um, some people like darker so we'll see how it's going and I'm not sure about this I maybe just leave it all in dual tone almost to red like this so even shadows will be kind of warmer fiery shadows yeah I think this way this work okay. Um, overall, what we need to do now, let's take our pen tool, uh, text tool, and type your name. Okay, let's go. Uh, let me retype. I think I'm typing mistake there. So, and there you go. Uh, let's go switch this to white color, just increase slightly. And I'm just putting in a corner. And again, it's a personal choice, but I like just so it's a little bit visible there. Kind of people who can see it, but it does not distract from the all picture itself. But it's just a little watermark. Okay. That is the image, it's what we created. Let's go just take all stuff that we modified, group together. Let's go call. Oops, I don't need this. I need color retouching. There you go. Now it's spelled properly. So we have it before, sort of we started, and this is what we finish with. So it's kind of give you a different perspective. And hopefully it's help you to inspire and try to create your own picture. Overall, actually, if you notice by the composition, everything, I'm trying to keep one third bright and two third darker because brighter usually it's more bring attention. And it's what we're trying to do. Just, you know, kind of control how much image will be at attention. And again, that is what image before when we started. And this is our final image. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. Your support greatly appreciated. Also, the wings. I put a link below if you're interested in the wings or any other materials. Or you can become a Patreon and Patreons. 
get a big discount on like I mean bi-weekly or whatever at least a lot of packs there for them to use it so include the wings and other ones you maybe find this more useful for you if you are want to do this for longer time again thank you very much for watching this video